Bravo. Another brilliant episode of Marie Kondo. Oh, goodness, what time is it? Oh, no. I've binged an entire Netflix series all night again. Hmm. Off to work with me. Ugh. This space doesn't bring me any joy. What would Marie do? Hello, my name is David Soleil, and my mission is to spark joy in the office through cleaning and organization. The method I use is called Wipeout Wednesday. This method is composed of five main categories. First, personal files. Next is aged and unused files. Then, duplicate files. Followed by confidential information. Finally, emails. Let's discuss personal files being stored on the network. These include your personal photos or documents. These files slow backup operations and cost money to store. In order to organize personal files, you should first touch them in order to wake them up. Start with your team's shared folder or your personal network folder. See, these photos from the trip to Penguins, those are personal. They shouldn't be on the network drive. Good thing I brought my external drive from home. Back up any personal files on a hard drive or thumb drive, and then delete. And done. The second category is aged and unused files. This could include files that have multiple drafts. One suggestion for you and your team is that you have naming standards that you all follow. This prevents confusion and helps you find files faster and easier. This also lets you know that you can delete old files if you see lower version numbers. I've named the file Final Draft, and I'm going to delete all the previous versions. And done. While you're reviewing the files in your folders, you might notice some duplicate files. For instance, you could be storing a file in your personal folder, your team folder, and your download folder. Deleting the duplicate will help alleviate confusion when you're looking for the file. It will also help speed up your computer, as well as our data backup process. In the future, you can avoid creating duplicates by sharing a link to the file in the folder instead of the actual file. Or you can use Office 365 to store team files. After deleting these files, remember to empty your recycle bin. Thank you, files. I'll miss you. Category 4 is Confidential Information. Confidential information is defined in the agency's acceptable use policy as any individually identifiable student, teacher, client, employee, or customer data, including all data that are protected by the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act, FERPA, and Criminal Justice Information Services, CJIS, such as an FBI background check. It also includes high-stakes test questions and keys, as well as professional practices cases. These types of files should never be stored on your local drives, but should be stored on the network drive. Folders connected to the network will look like this, and local drive folders will look like this. Confidential information may include physical files as well. Place these files in the filing cabinet, and then make sure to lock them up when you're not working on them. Finally, it's important to delete unnecessary email and phone messages. These are messages that no longer serve an administrative purpose. For emails, search your inbox and delete accordingly. Thank you. Thank you. You should repeat this process for your other folder, as well as for any subfolders you may have created. You can actually set your folders to automatically archive or delete the messages after a certain amount of time. You can do that by right-clicking on the folder, selecting Auto Archive, and then selecting the bottom option. You can then determine how long you want to keep files and whether you want to archive or delete them. As one last step, empty the deleted items folders. It's also important to delete messages stored on your phone. If your voicemail inbox is full, you won't be able to receive new messages. You can delete voicemail messages by going through Jabber. As a reminder, it's important to have a clean work area. Take this time to organize files and papers. 
We recommend creating two piles, one for files you still need, and one for those you're no longer using. Before you throw these files away, thank them for their service and for helping you accomplish your job. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, still need these? Thanks. Oh, thank you so much. You should then throw them away in the corresponding receptacles. The blue bins are for general recycling, and the gray ones are for secure destruction of files that contain confidential information. Lastly, wipe down your work area. Following these tips for organization will help you greatly increase your joy and productivity while working at the Utah State Board of Education. I'm so happy I was able to assist you, and I hope you continue to spark joy in your life.